Someone's jiggling the tightrope. <laughs> yeah, just like one mistake and all of a sudden you're just dead at 15. Like, yeah, it's so, so precise. So volatile. Speaking of uh, pre precision, this match is going to be precise as hell. I hope, <laughs> at least. That was a horrible segue. Anyway, <laughs> getting into the match, we got Shine versus Nico. Nico, a Joker clone in real life. Yeah, Shine, fresh, uh, fresh back in the, the stage. Already at the ledge. <laughs> all right, but makes it back. <laughs> Right where Nico wants you. Right, and this match is already, you know... Like, He's already at Smash. He's ready to take the stock. It's been 20 seconds, and this match has been played like 80% of the ledge. Honestly, just like another day another day in the office for Nico, because he always has his opponent. But getting off the ledge versus Nico is so Terrifying. Like, right now, Shine... Could, He's trying to fight. My goodness. Look, what is... Okay, Luke, <laughs> Luke is just fighting against this freaking god killer. He's just a kid. And... and, and He's using the range of the sword so well. So well. Wow. He's just not even letting Shine play the game, and that's Shine's, so smart. Yeah, I feel like Shine's trying to go for too many reversals instead of like trying to pay attention to what he's like what Nico's doing to approach him and how Nico's forcing him to react to some of his moves. Yeah, that's the thing you see Shine go for a lot. He'll like to go for a lot of reversals when he's in disadvantage. He'll like to square up a lot. That was a very weird uh, PK freeze. I see why he did it, but Nico, I feel like was just so aware, like his awareness is so next level that he just like, he knew that he just jumps over it and punishes it. Mm -hmm. Like if Shine read the jump over, he could have like followed him, but then you could, just ju you could juke the PK, PK freeze. <laughs> and he could juke you with it, but it's, it's more, you have more control because you can move. Mm -hmm. Shield mode, okay, I miss oh, it for All right, don't get hit. If you get yeah, hit, it's, it's like 20% on that PK yeah. fire. Oof. Oh no, the Oh, damage. caught him with the jump. All right, this is not a good spot to be in. Good tech. Tries to go for reversal again. Oh my goodness. All right, gets him back on stage. Sheena right now. He's trying to find an opening. Though I like the way he's playing now. He's playing a lot more, uh, like, neutral-centric. The way he's jumping around, using his aerial, aerial mobility to weave around Schultz's moves. Or at least Schultz, what he thinks he's going to do. Because he's not really... Nico's not throwing out too many moves. Oh my god. Oh, you uh, missed. <laughs> Shout out to Akito. Shout out to Akito. That's back throw did 14 damage. <laughs> that wasn't even the most insane like back throw damage I've seen. Have you seen Olimar's blue back throw? That does 21. 20 what? It does 21%. Wonder I, wonder I exactly. Anyway, uh, <laughs> back to the match. <laughs> that was a very good counter. That counter is, is uh, I'm not entirely sure how it works, but I, there's like a quicker version and a slower version. Yeah, I'm pretty sure once you uh, press, you press it to decide if you want to do a quicker or slower. Okay, okay. Wow, did he fall out of his nair there? No, he landed. He landed there, and his nair didn't finish. My goodness, my goodness, dude, Lucas. There's so much hit lag when he hits you, dude. Like, there's so many freeze frames. <laughs> That's the joy of electrical hitboxes. Wow, especially like Shulk and Buster. So like, it, it, it amplifies. Yeah, you're just sitting there for a second while you get hit. My goodness. And Shine's, you know, not doing too bad this stock. It's just that he's he's already mounted himself like a deficit. Wow, dude, Nico Shulk is all over the place. What? Oh, Nico's going goodness. crazy, man, bro. He's throwing himself across the stage. My goodness. I can feel the power. Like, Shine just doesn't have time to react that he's getting thrown around. Dude, that truly is the Monado's power, man. Like, <laughs> the Monado's power. Honestly, I think Shine's going to switch. Shulk is powerful in this game. I wouldn't be surprised. I know Shine plays a million characters, and he's proficient with all. Or he was like that in Smash 4. I'm not sure about this game. But I know. If, if, it's, if, if he's anything like he was in Smash 4, I'm sure he has a million characters in his pocket, ready to be used at any moment. Yeah, I know the sets Shine would take off Nico. he usually did with, like, DK, so I'm wondering uh -huh. if he's going to try for that. You know, we actually called, uh, we have a nickname for Shine. We call him Captain Ginyu because he always steals your <laughs> He, like, always changes forms. That's hilarious. And, and sometimes, like, you jack your character. Like, when he, um, when he Junior did a catch-up, that was so funny. Oh, my goodness. All right, All right he's sticking it out, sticking it out with... Um, he's sticking it out with Lucas, taking him to FD. I know he, he's always been a huge fan of this stage, right? He loves FD. Um, FD was such a good stage for Lucas too, back in Smash 4, and though, it probably is still right. now. No, it's it's. I don't want to question it, but I do want to say that uh, Lucas may struggle to land a lot more than Shulk does on this stage. Is he done? Excellent. Ooh, great wow, move. he couldn't even see the he couldn't even see the PK Thunder dude able to make that back. Perfect angle too. Yeah, Beautiful wrote the wall, stuff. made sure to avoid uh, the downer from Nico. I feel like PK Fire is really important in this matchup. Since you can't fight him, like, it's hard to get up close to him and be able to actually fight him because of the massive amount of range he has. So that PK Fire, with its increased speed, is going to, like, help you out. Yeah. And the way that Nico... Wow! That, wow, that Nair game! Oh, he does have range! <laughs> Yo, let's go! And the way that uh, Nico swings at Shine, too, when he goes for those Nairs and these, uh... <laughs> 
Whoa, Excuse that was oh not, that was gosh. nice. That was crazy. Let's go, Shine. I mean, no bias. <laughs> <laughs> no, bi <laughs> no, no bias, but that was nice. No, that was sick. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. So Shine right now, he's definitely figured out a lot of things, like using Nair a lot more to contest the range advantage Shulk has, as well as PK Fire. Excellent stuff. All right, he's at the ledge, has to it off. Good Nair from Nico. How's he gonna get the edge guard? He goes low, that's very smart, very smart. Nico not trying to go down to contest yeah, either. Yeah, it's really awkward fighting him while he's trying to contest it at that angle. Up the edge, shield, good stuff. Punishes the dare. A lot of things can be punished out of shield in this game. Unless you're like Buster Minato, like crazy shield. Well, wait, he died. Yeah, not the best DI there. Probably maybe buffered away or just didn't DI at all. Uh, it does happen. Watch out for PK fire. Interesting. He just really can't do anything with his throws. Hey, anything can work if you make it work. Honestly, wow. that, that's that's how Shine lives his life. Oh, yeah. Wow, that combo. Oh, my goodness. Not with, he's not done. Like, like, he gets like horizontally juggled. Wow, he, he DI'd in on the on the blood trump. Let's trump, yeah, and he jumped and Shane was just ready for it. Wow, and Shane just has a like sizable lead. Not sizable, but he has a good lead this game. But uh you see the way Nico's playing, and if, 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 you, if you couldn't see the stocks and you couldn't see the percents, you'd think Nico was winning the way he's playing. So confidently. Like it's, it's even behind he's it's just insane, looks, yeah. He's controlling the pace of the match right now. He controls like pretty much almost like he controls disadvantage and advantage like the most. And it's, it's truly admirable the way he plays it. Especially when he's like, he's down. He's just kind of a demoralizing character to fight sometimes. Good punish on the PK fire. Down tilt the neutral get up. Dude, he's, his let's trap. In Smash 4, they were crazy. In this just... game, he just he has a faster sword now. <laughs> Good. Not really gonna get anything off the down throw. I thought maybe he was gonna go for PK Fire again. He, he did get the positioning advantage and it's helping him out right now, but he dropped it. No! He wasn't oh. ready for Nico to jump past him. Alright, directional air dodge is gonna go unpunished. You know, Lucas's directional air dodge, it has a lot of lag in the air, just like just like all directional air dodge. But he has so much control over Ooh, his don't. So much control over his drift. Oh, that was such a good parry. parry. Did he try to like what? Melee shine in there? <laughs> <laughs> Boop him away. All right, Jared. Oh, okay, don't touch my shield. That's, yeah, good point. that's the Nico special. He's been up being out of right, shield right. a lot. I feel like if he if he had dared and landed on the other side, he got upbeat out of shield. Would have been stuck to Nico taking that game or taking that set 2-0 over Shine. So Shine had a.